Hi, I'm Taylor Rizzo. I'm a registered dietitian at Beltline Bariatric in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here to talk to you today about food tracking apps. Um, so food tracking apps are a great tool to add to your healthy lifestyle. Um, there are lots of different apps you can use um, on the app store for you know, all different types of phones, of course. Um, some really popular ones are MyFitnessPal, Lose It, um, and a really unique one for post-bariatric um, surgery patients is uh, Berry-tastic. So those are a couple of really big names of food tracking apps that I've seen and used with patients that I've worked with in the past. Food tracking apps are great for many reasons. Um, first and foremost, of course, it's a journal of what you're eating, right? So when you track in an app versus tracking, you know, by hand and you know, journaling, you get to actually see how many calories, protein grams, carbs, and fat that you're eating. Um, so it's a really accurate log, and it can really help you to learn what is in the food that you're eating. And when you're working with your registered dietitian, you can together, you know, discuss exactly the numbers that your body needs again for weight loss to stay healthy um, and make adjustments together with that very specific specific detailed log. Um, so tracking is great for that, right? Again, education, knowledge, and learning and helping you make a plan going forward. Tracking is also a really, really great method for self-accountability and self-monitoring. So again, with the app, you have to log it in. It's with you all day in your pocket, on your phone. Um, and so you are always again, staying accountable to the foods that you're choosing. A lot of times it also helps you to avoid bad choices because you kind of have to face what you put in the app. And so if you have, you know, if you're caught between um, maybe a healthy choice and a not so healthy choice, you'd probably pick the healthier choice because you want to log it in there and feel, you know, proud and accomplished from that. So. Food tracking apps are again are a great, great tool to use, um, and you know uh, they help you again with the calorie counting and with self accountability. If you're not really into apps or not very good with tech stuff, you can absolutely use journaling as a way to food track. I mean, it still is beneficial for the effects of the self monitoring and accountability. You just write down, of course, what you're eating, the times of day when you're eating it. But the, again, the cool thing about the app is it does it automatically for you, and it goes with you everywhere instead of you having to carry a notebook with you. Um, Food tracking, like I said, is a great habit for long-term success, not only the weight loss process, but weight loss maintenance, because your calories in the app will adjust as your weight adjusts, which is really unique to those apps. Um, if you're not sure if you're hitting the right amounts that are listed in your app, because your app will calculate your needs based on height, weight, gender, those kind of things, again, talk to your registered dietitian and you guys can adjust those numbers together. Um, the one thing I'd caution with tracking apps is sometimes it can kind of mess with your mental health. So if if you're somebody that's going to really stress over every calorie and every gram of protein, it may not be the healthiest choice for you to start tracking. But again, if you can kind of build a healthy relationship with it, know that it's there to help you and not hurt you or shame you, it can become, again, a really useful tool for long-term success. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for uh, more videos, like and comment and share. Um, if you're interested in making an appointment with our office, you can click the link below.